Thank you so much for waiting. I'm so sorry. Good night, guys. How are you today? Well, I hope that all of you uh, feel good, have a great day. Today, we will start to learning uh, about uh, vocabulary about house and apartments. Also, we will see a couple of videos and we will have an activity about how to answer on our platform. Uh, my name is Luis. I will be with you for four weeks. I hope that we can enjoy all those classes with me. Um, si tienen alguna duda, alguna consulta, no duden en hacerla. Eh, y recordemos, pues, eh, estamos aquí para pues, practicar y poder aprender. Eh, intentaremos hablar lo más que podamos en inglés. Eh, lo estoy diciendo en español para que pues, tampoco tengan la pena si no entienden algo y pues o no saben cómo estructurarlo para decirlo, díganlo aunque sea en español para aclarar cualquier duda. Eh, el objetivo de la clase será pues que en este módulo podamos aprender a desempeñarnos un poco más sueltos y aprender sobre la gramática, cómo escribirla correctamente, cómo formular tanto preguntas, oraciones negativas y también eh, positivas en diferentes tiempos. Eh, no sé si gustarían pues eh, presentarse. Eh, me encantaría escucharlos y pues saber qué es lo que están esperando de esta clase. Nuevamente, pues mi nombre es Luis y también me encantaría que todos pudieran participar. Como algo en especial les comento, la participación ayuda mucho. Así es que ¿Quién quiere ser el primer voluntario en presentarse? And tell us about your name and what do you do? Yes, a volunteer. Sandra. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, Sandra. Tell us what's your name? And how how would you like to call call you Sandra as a, your second name or or, you, or with your last name? My name is Sandra. Mm -hmm. uh, I like I like name Sandra. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandra. Uh, my my second number is Maribel. Mm -hmm. uh, I am from Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent, Sandra. Somebody else? Eh, y mi trabajo es eh, social worker. Ah, excelente, Sandra. Es un placer haber escuchado eso. Y se te agradece, excelente, que hayas participado. Eh, ¿Alguien más gustaría hablarnos sobre ustedes? Bueno, en ese caso, pues, continuaremos con la clase. No se preocupen. El objetivo de la primera clase será el siguiente. Será el que nosotros, pues, eh, podamos aprender vocabulario para hablar sobre las partes de la casa y los apartamentos. Eh, at the beginning, I will show you a video. It's about... Hi, beginning. teacher. Hi. How are you? Uh, okay, uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, tengo una pregunta con respecto a vocabulario. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia entre scar y fear, de miedo? Scar and fear. Uh, bueno, la palabra scar es más que todo cuando sucede en el momento. Cuando es algo simultáneo. Un ejemplo. 
eh, y vas caminando por, tu, por la calle y miras un perro ladrar mucho y que sí. quiere aventar. You feel scared. En cambio, fear puede ser como un miedo más profundo. Puede ser como un periodo más largo. Como el tenerle miedo a la oscuridad es un periodo más largo. I, I have fear to be on the dark. Ese podría ser uno de los miedos o de las formas que podríamos ocupar el verbo fear. Eh, excelente aporte. Lo agradezco mucho, José. Ahora bien, para continuar este día, pues vamos a tener mucho vocabulario. Vamos a comenzar con este video. No se preocupen, eh, intentaré pues hacer la clase pues lo más soft posible, porque sé que muchos de ustedes pues vienen de una jornada muy pesada. Muy bien, permítanme un momento. Pueden ver la pantalla. Yes. Thank you so much. As I mentioned before, today we are going to learn about vocabulary, housing, apartments. Uh, for example, uh, someone would you like to share with us what's the difference between a house and apartment? <clears throat> yes. The apartment is small. Exactly. What else? Come on, guys. Don't be a fair. You can say anything. For example, the house have many rooms and different part areas. That's right. Also, a key of that is this. Look at that picture. Let me try to grow it down there. Can you see this? Building. Yes, it's a building. The apartment can be in a building and a different floor, for example. An apartment in the third floor or a second floor. Also in the first floor. But what about a house? Only one floor. Yeah. Only the house has oh. to be on the ground. It's a complete uh, building. Yeah, it's like a mini building, but it's a house. It could be has one or two floor, but it has to be on the same floor. Also, hardly ever in a building living many family many people but in a house most of the time the people who live there are family well we will start to watching this video also if you have some problems to understand don't worry you can read this part just give me a second i will delete something Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, technical issues. <laughs>
Okay, we will stop in that part. Okay. Do you have any question about this part of the video? Pues yo no escuché nada, teacher. O, teni, o no tenía audio. ¿Cómo no tenía audio? Permítame volver a repetir. No tenía audio, teacher. No se escucha nada, teacher. No hay problema. Permítame volver a compartir. Muchas gracias. Cuando, hayan, cuando no escuchen nada o solo vean algún technical issues, don't worry. Let me know. I will do my best effort to help you. Just give me a second. Permítame. ¿Pueden escuchar ahora? Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary for... ¿Escuchan? Yes. Yeah. Muy bien. Eh, si no le... Si sienten que les cuesta un poco escuchar al... Al teacher, pueden ir leyendo aquí. Lo recomendable sería tratar de asimilar las palabras que dice el teacher, como a, a kitchen, a dining room, con el significado que vemos aquí. We're talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors. A... Okay. Uh, before continue, would you like to repeat? What's the What's the way to mention or oh, say casa in English? Or oh, how do you say casa in English? This is the first part of the vocabulary. Oh. It's house. Also, you can use the word house in a sentence like this. A garage and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now, okay, guys, it's time to practice. Now it's your turn. As you can see here, it's necessary to practice this kind of vocabulary. Dining room. Can you repeat after me, please? Dining room. Dining room. Thank you. Kitchen. Kitchen. Living room. Living room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Stairs. 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 Very well. Right now, uh, someone can describe what is a dining room. Dining room is like an area to take food or eat. Yeah, very well. Uh, who wants for this? Rachel, right? Yes. Very well, Rachel. That is an Thank area you. that we and our family, we can eat our food. Next one. Kitchen. What's the meaning of kitchens? Oh, what can we do on the kitchen? 
cooking stereo. Cooking. That's right. We can cook in. And also is the place where you we can yeah. prepare the food. The next one, laundry room. Question. Wash the clothes. Yeah. Do the laundry. That's the name that we can, or that's the word to use lavar ropa en inglés. Do the laundry. Right now, next one. Living room. Watch television. Yeah, watch TV. What else? Read. Yes, we can read. Read a book. What else? We can meet with our family, like a meeting, a little meeting. We can listen to the music there, but very well, guys. You can do it. You are doing a great job. Right now, the next part, garage. Can you repeat after me, please? Garage. 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 Bedroom. 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 Bathroom. 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 Hall. Hall. Very well. You did a great job. Right now, what happened on the garage? Park the car. Yes, we can park the car. On the bedroom. Asleep. Yes. How many bedrooms are here? Three. Three. Nice. Three and how many bathrooms? One. One. That's right. Very well. Do you know what's the meaning of how? I see you. That's right. Right now, apartment. 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 <laughs> Excellent. How many bedrooms has this apartment? Just one. one. Bed. Only one. Does the apartment a whole? That's right. Doesn't have it. But what's the meaning of this? Door? Yes. Ah, lobby. Yes, very well. What happened in the lobby? Oh, what can you do on the lobby? El, en el lobby es la parte donde las personas llegan a hacer un check-in o a anunciarse que van a llegar a visitar a alguien. Ahora, ¿cómo puedo decir que llegó a alguien a anunciarse a visitarlo a uno de ustedes a su apartamento bueno you can use the pair announce he or she announce on the lobby that she will arrive later or she is seeking of one of you for now, we will continue in the next part, watching the, con the complete of the video. Teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher.
eh, la verdad que sería una excelente idea. Nosotros sabemos pues que están ahorita llegando de sus trabajos y pues yo comprendo mucho eso. Eh, por favor, eh, procuremos ser un poco empáticos con los demás, pero también comprendemos la situación en la que se encuentran actualmente. Bueno, continuaremos viendo el video. Thank you. Um, after this advertisement, this is the rest of the video. A dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Muy bien. Well, the video says that it's necessary to practice, guy. In this part, I will need just one volunteer. Who would you like to participate in this part? I promise I won't be hard. It won't be hard. Okay, Rachel, you will help me with the next questions. Let me show. Please share your work in our discussion forums. I need that you provide me the next information. How many rooms or what rooms are in your house? How many rooms are in your house? Um, in my house are two bedrooms, uh, a living room, um a dining room bathroom and kitchen and that's it nice ah, and the yard very well that's an important part <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah and if you can notice here on the screen on the picture the guy here doesn't chose a yard. Um, just let me verify something. Okay. How many of you has yards? Please raise the hands on, on the emoticonos. If you have a, a yard, please raise your hands and say, Someone else? Come on, guys. Nice. You can do it. Don't be don't be shy. Joanna, you have a jar. Someone else? A one, pero ya está. Well, right now we are going to talk about jars. Just let me find a picture. I need to show you a picture about here, this. Just give me a second. Yes, this. Okay, before I share this picture, Joanna, would you like to share with us what things are on your jar? 
Dígamelo en español, por favor. <ríe> Vaya. Muy bien, Joana. ¿Podés decirnos el, solo el nombre de las cosas que hay en tu, en tu jardín? Un ejemplo, si tenés un árbol de mango, o si tenés rosas, flores. No cuentan las plantitas que se me mueren, ¿verdad? <ríe> sí, sí, cuentan, cuentan. Ok, I have a uh, tree papaya, creo que es ese árbol. Papaya tree. Acuérdate papaya tree. Que cuando vas uh, a decir el. Eh, esto sí, es un recordatorio. Cuando vayan a hablar sobre un ejemplo, un árbol de papaya, lo que decimos aquí, se pronuncia al revés. Van a decir el nombre de la fruta primero y luego van a decir el nombre de, o sea, el adjetivo que es el árbol, como ella dijo. Papaya tree. What else? Y tengo amor de un rato. Es lo único que no se me muere, piche. De esto se muere. <laughs> well, something happened there. But thank you for sharing with us. Um, Rachel, would you, like, would you like to share with us what do you have on your jar? Um... Yes, I have a lemon tree, mango tree, guayaba tree, mamey tree. <laughs> um, the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> a little jungle. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, that's it. I don't have uh, flowers. I don't have. But. Yes. You have many trees there. Yes. Well, someone else would you like to share with us? Okay. Let me tell you, I have a jar, but I don't have any tree there. Just I have rose and rosas and some flowers and cactus. Eh, Vaya, Joana, para que no se mueran cactus. Igual se mueren. <ríe> Les eché demasiada agua, quizás. Ah, pregunto, ¿alguien sabe cómo se dice jardinería en inglés? Do you know how to say jardinería en inglés? Do the garden. Oh. Es como garden, the same word that you use to describe the place, garden, do the garden. It's the same as do the laundry. Well, we will continue. Just give me a second. Right now we will describe part of some house. Just give me a second, I need to open this. Oh man. Muy bien. Just give me a second guys. Okay, can you see the picture? Yes, guys. teacher. Thank yes. you. Okay, guys, I need that you try to participate a little bit more. I know you are tired, but just more 30 minutes more on classes and you will be free. Right now we will describe. Do you know or can you describe the picture, please. What do you see there? Are some trees? Mm -hmm. What else? Mm, like a chair? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Doors. Nice. 
How do you say hamaca in English? Hamaca is a no. proper name. Proper name? No. Mm, no. No. And you, uh, at the moment to write it down, yes, it's hamaca. But at the moment, the to pronounce is totally different. It's hammock. <laughs> yeah. Hammock. A hammock. How many of you have a hammock? Raise your hand, please. If you don't know how to raise yes. your hands, just say yo or I. I have. How many of you have that? A hammock? I want. Somebody else or just Joanna has a hammock? What about you, Raquel? Do you have a hammock? Yes, I have three. Nice. Erika, do you have a hammock? Yes. Jose, do you have a hammock? Ah, Jose Angel. I can see that you are too, Jose. Okay, Jose Angel. Oh. Do you have a yes, hammock? Yes, I, I have a tree. Nice. What about you, Jose Edgar? Do you have a hammock? Yes, hammock and one. Nice. Christina, do you have a hammock? Um, yes. How how many? How many hammock do you have? One, two, three, or more? One. Nice. Alvaro. Do you have a hammock? No. <laughs> Jennifer, do you have a hammock? Yes, I have. How many? Three. Nice. Roxana, do you have a hammock? Yes, I have two hammock. Nice. Jacqueline, do you have a hammock? <laughs> okay. Nice. Maybe. Sandra, do you have a hammock? No. No, I haven't. I'm so sorry for you. It's so delicious <laughs> rest there. But maybe one day, Roxana and Jacqueline, do you have a hammock? Ah, again? Nobody there? Well, Gabriel, Gabriela, do you have a hammock? Yes, I have one hammock. What about you, Tania? Do you have a hammock? No. Is there missing? Somebody, everybody participate in this part? Well, we'll continue with the next one. Just give me a second, guys. It's almost there. Nice. The next part will be this. Can you help me to describe this picture? What's the name of this picture? How do you say terraza? Mm. Rooftop. 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 But 
The rooftop, it's something a little bit different. The rooftop has to be the second floor, remember, or higher. But this is in the first floor. I will give you a clue. All the house in El Salvador has this room, but in a different place. And also maybe most of the most of you are there. You can watch TV there. What's the name? Okay, somebody's corredor. It's not a house. It's in a living room. This is a living room. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yes, it has. But it's outside the house. Yeah. You can have a living room at the beginning of your house or in your backyard. But it's the same. Yes, it's the same. It's a living room. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. This is a living room. Mm. But normally it's is in this? the house. Yes, mm -hmm. like this. Yes. But also this is a living room. Mm. Good. Okay. It's time to describe a living room. We will describe this. Okay, guys, can you see better? Can you see better? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Can you describe the room, please? the name of this later no this 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 part this part oh it's Wait. like um today we saw on the video A stairs. stairs. This is a, these are the stairs. What's the name of this? Sofa. Sofa. And this? What's the name of this? Pictures. Picture. It's a paint. A picture is a photograph. It could be a big one, but it's a photograph. And this is a picture. What's the difference between a picture and a photograph? And the picture or a paint, it's normal. Paint is una pintura. Mm -hmm. Like this. The pictures um, se refiere a fotografía. That's right. Okay. You got it. What's the name of this? This one. Lamp. Lamp. And this? Table. Sun? Coffee table. Okay, coffee table. Yes. Remember, table, it's a normal. You can see it in a, in a chair like this. And you are here. This is a table. But this kind of table, the name is coffee table amazing guys you are amazing right now 
we will do the next one. Let me find someone that it could be. Uh, yes, this, this one, it works. Can you see the picture, guys? Yes. What's the name of this, uh, this room? Kitchen. 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 Nice. Okay. It's time to describe it. What's the name of this? Microwave. Microwave. Microsoft. Microwave. Repeat after me. Microwave. 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 That's nice, guys. What's the name of this? All of all of this, this part. The stuff is this part. Stuff. Stuff is the estufa, pero es como el quemador. But the complete, the complete part, of the complete gadget. Oven stuff. <laughs> Oven and stuff, but it could be kitchen too. And then it could be kitchen. But what's the name of this part of the kitchen? Oven. Nice. And what's the name of this? Nobody? Sink. S I N K. Sink. And are all of those. What do you do with this? Hmm? Wash dishes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Washing the dishes. You are doing very well, but not just the dishes. You can wash fruits and vegetables too. But the name of this is sink. Let me ask into you something else. Uh -huh. Okay, it's not here. Let me try to find some. Someone, do you know, or can you tell me how, how can I say sartén in English? Someone? Come on, guys, you can do it. It's easy. Pan? That's one Green. way. Pan, it's one. Also, a skillet. A skillet. A skillet. Let me write it down for you right now. I will write, yes, I will. -L -L yeah, a skillet. Let me show. Skillet. Let 
finish or like that. Look at that. A skillet. I will send it to you through chat. A skillet. Iron That's right. Okay. Let me share this next screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just let me find it. Just give me a second. Okay, guys, what's the name of this bedroom? Sorry, what's the name of this room? Bathroom. That's right. What's the name of this? Mirror. This? Toilet. And this? Paper. <laughs> Uh huh. It, it's not. It's a house. You have the house, but the complete word it's toilet paper. Toilet paper. That's right. Toilet paper. What is this? Liquid soap. Nice. And right now, let me show in the next part of the bathroom. Just give me a second. Just a second, guys. Okay, guys, can you see? Guys, can you see the picture? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's the name of this? <laughs> bathroom. Half. Yes, it's part of the bathroom, but it's not the complete bathroom. This is a shower. Someone says shower bath. <laughs> yes, the shower bath is it's kind of, but it's different because the bath is the part on the floor. Let me show when a shower bath. Mm. This is a shower bath. Mm. It's different. It's different looks, but just this part, lo que usualmente le decimos regadera, in English is a shower. Ahora bien, how do you say me bañé hoy en la mañana in English? I take a shower in the morning. Mm, you got the, the morning, idea. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. At the morning, someone said at the morning. I take a shower. Okay. Let me help into you with this. It's true. The verb that you have to use is take, but in this case, because you are speaking about the past today in the morning, you said took, I took, took a shower. Yes, okay. this is past, past simple, simple past. I took a shower. Tomorrow we will learn a little bit more. Today, I would like to show you a little bit about 
vocabulary about house. But tomorrow we will do a review about verb to be and simple present. But first of all, we will finalize. We will show, uh, I will show you the last room of a house. But before that, somebody else can tell me how can I say bathroom, but in another way in English. Alguien sabe cómo decir baño, bath, with a different word of bathroom. Hmm? It's restroom. It's like that, in this way. Just give me a second. This is a restroom. You can use it most of the time como baño público. Rest room. Ahora. A bedroom. Okay, guys, it's time to describe it. What's the name of this? Bedroom. Bedroom. Nice. What's the name of this, this part? Window. And this? Curtain. Nice. What's the meaning of this? Table. Night, night table. Night table. Night table. Also, it could be coffee table too. Yeah, yeah because it's not at the same height of a normal table. What's the name of this? Bed. And and this? ¿Cómo se llama lo que le ponen encima a los colchones? Con lo que te arropas. ¿Cómo se llama esa? Bedsheet. Exacto. ¿En this? ¿Qué es el nombre de esto? Pillow. Nice. ¿En this? Towel. Cool. Okay, guys, this was the class for today. Also, as I mentioned, uh, we will have tomorrow a little review about bear to be and also simple present. Tomorrow we will use the vocabulary of we learned today in order to describe stuff what we made in part of the house. For example, in the bathroom, we took a shower at six o'clock every morning. Or I take a shower every morning at seven o'clock. We can we will be able to manage or to say that kind of phrase for tomorrow. Well, guys, it's almost done. Uh, I don't know if you have any comment about the class, you are free to tell me right now. And believe me, it was more than a pleasure to me be with you today. And I hope that you enjoy this class. Questions? Tenemos yeah. que entrar a, la, a una plataforma para hacer las tareas o algo? Sí. Ustedes tienen que entrar a una plataforma para poder hacer las tareas. Eh, las tareas son, pues, asignadas para que ustedes las puedan hacer cuando puedan. Si no pueden, no se sientan con la presión, pero eh, 
si estamos aquí, señores, creo que, que es porque todos queremos superarnos. Y parte para poderlo lograr y para poder aprender un segundo idioma, yo lo digo por experiencia propia, es hacer las tareas de la plataforma. No saben cómo les va a ayudar y hagan preguntas. Anoten preguntas. Cualquier cosa que no entiendan en la plataforma, no duden en, en, en hacer preguntas. Yo con mucho gusto se las estaré respondiendo. Dudas sobre vocabulario. Si tienen alguna duda, cuándo poder ocupar una palabra y cuándo decir otra, pues también háganla. Eh, estamos para ayudarlo y tampoco tengan miedo pues también de expresarse. Si no saben cómo decir algo, pues díganlo en español y aquí lo traducimos. ¿Dudas o consultas, señores, al respecto? Un, ah, ¿Tenemos manual, teacher, para descargarlo? Sí, también tenemos un manual, el cual te, se encuentra en la misma plataforma. Eh, creo que muchos de ustedes no han ingresado a dicha plataforma, ¿correcto? ¿Pueden levantarme la mano sí, quienes sí han? ¿Ah? No hemos podido accesar a la plataforma, o sea, los links nos mandan a los mismos cursos anteriores y no nos aparece este. Ah, muy bien. En ese caso... Nosotros estábamos en otro, en la modalidad de 8 a 9. Uh -huh. de, perdón, uh -huh. de 8 a 10. Uh -huh. Entonces nos aparecen los cursos anteriores. Entonces queremos eh, imprimir la, el manual para poder trabajar desde, no así en el teléfono, sino que físico. Le Pero no podemos descargarlo. Muy bien. Qué bueno que me han dicho esto, señores. De verdad les agradezco mucho que me estén brindando este tipo de dudas. ¿Les parece si mañana, a primera hora, lo que vamos a hacer será lo siguiente? Primero que nada, pues les mostraré dónde van a encontrar los módulos para este curso. Es en la misma plataforma, el mismo link que les han dado. Es un poquito, pues, tricky al momento de hacerlo, pero... Yo con mucho gusto se los explico mañana, se los muestro, compartir de pantalla para demostrarlos. Y también les mostraré dónde está el manual para que lo podamos descargar. ¿Les parece bien? Por favor. Perfecto. Gracias, es primer día. El primer día va a ser suave, siempre. Al menos cuando estén conmigo procuraré ser lo más suave posible porque sé que vienen cansados y es el día que nos vamos a conocer. Pero el día de mañana, sí, por favor, necesito que participen un poco más y a la misma vez, si pueden, pues practiquen un poco lo que han visto. Vamos a ver mañana un review del verbo to be y vamos a aprender cómo ocupar el symbol present. Eh, cualquier duda o consulta, háganmela saber. Yo con mucho gusto les explico. Feliz noche y pues un placer conocerlos. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.